I think this should be enough for them. Come on, boys. Where was I born? Scotland, to Drossen. An Iron, Vernon, Williams. Yeah, I used to race a lot. I've got 32 youngsters, 22 old birds. Most of them are over three years old. And I've got 22 yearlings. And that's its wing. It's all its feathers. All got its feathers there. I put, that's the ring that, that they have. The number, 21. So that's this year's bread. 22 is the last figures of the mother. <coughs> She's a very good pigeon. Well, my first pigeon I got from a lad that lived in Kakowin near Stranra, and I wanted to do something with it. I was living in this huge big house, and I had a box outside that my dad had done up, and I got a pigeon, young wood pigeon, and took it in. Of course, you know what he did when he opened the door? He pissed off. He's gone. That's my mother. Beatrice Edna Williams. Funny old book, isn't it? You've yeah. been looking through it, Christ. There's some good pictures in there, That's so actually. That. That's my father. Yeah. I think that was my father. That must be a father as well. My father, isn't it? Yeah. And that's Dad, Manda, Nona, me, and Mother. Family life was uh, very quiet, really, because all I was doing was I always move from school to school to school, nearest to where my father was working, because we've got the problem with the war coming out. So that was 1939, 1940, coming up that, that time. So my father was very much involved with the war because he's a chemist working in an ICI factory, preparing gunpowder, nitroglycerine and things like that to blow hell out of places, yeah? Manda was going to be a nurse, Nona was working in the factory and I was at school. Maze, peas, dairy, all sorts of little things. Oh, there's plenty of corn there, crikey. Loads of it. That's enough. Then I have some. Come on. Good, 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 good. I just used to look out the window in Scotland and I could see the aircraft carrier was out there with swordfish practising, taking off, coming down with torpedoes and this, that and the other. Not letting them go, but just practising, taking off and landing back in the aircraft, getting ready for going out to war. We didn't have much bombing up there. I didn't notice it. There was bombing in various parts of Scotland, but I was a bit young to bother about it. No, I must have been about... So 39, I was nine, wasn't I? Amanda passed her exams, and then she went off nursing to the hospital, wherever it was. <coughs> and she ended up in the East India Dock in London. And she loved it, because it was full of life. Everything was gone, until the V-bomb started coming off. But anyway, they got away with it. The sun's coming up, my boys. The art is feeding them so as they've got enough food to have energy and they've got a correct amount to make them feel hungry. I know your dad does that all the time, doesn't he? Doesn't your dad do that? Hey, you like that, don't you? <laughs> oh, you got my skin. Oh! I was doing dentistry. I had to stop flirting about in this jazz. I had to get off my arse. Because first I had to have two, first MB and second MB. Past that, it's the same as the doctors. 
So if you don't pass that, you can't be a dentist. And I was there for four years, I think, before I got my degree. And then you sit in a big hall and it comes number 76, you pass. Oh, shit. Then I rang my sister up, said, no, no, I've passed. I don't be so stupid, you fool, how could you? I said, I'm a dentist now. <laughs> and she said, you stupid bugger. Are you honestly brilliant? No, brilliant, brilliant, well done. I lost what I consider one of my best hens. I've got gridding on the floor. Now, because I'm getting quite old, I'm often putting a bit of corn in the drinker and then I might lose my balance and splash it a bit so it goes onto the floor. And this little hen, what she'd done, she'd put her head through the floor grid and it got stuck. And she'd obviously pulled it hard to get it out and broke her neck. So I went in, she was lying there dead. So that's happened, that's a mistake on my part, so I feel very guilty about it. But there's not a lot I could do. You let you learn at college. What you pick up from the books and tips from one another who's had older experience than yourself <coughs> helps you an awful lot of times. Just the right word at the right time. I play golf occasionally, I go down. As I've got older, I'm not playing quite so much. Manda was basically interested in golf. I met her up at one of the big tournaments. She was there and I came and we met. And she'd had a bit of cancer, I knew that. And uh, she said to me, how are you doing? I said, fine, hello sis, great, good to see you. I said, I've got your, your birthday present with me. Here it is. It was a, a shirt, flash shirt, nice shirt, costing a bit. And uh, I said, there you are, it's a lovely shirt. Oh, she said, that is terrific, isn't it? Here, hold us a minute. I said, well, hey, it's her birthday. I bought her a present. And uh, even people we didn't know, come on, get it on. Let's have a look at it. And she put it on. I said, that's super, sis. Different. That's my sister. And great. And everybody went, way. And this was at the golf course. So i never forget that. That was it. It was funny, quite funny, actually. I was very touched when she died. I still cry. I won't talk about it. Yeah, of course, of course. Because um, I, I was going up to Manchester, she died in Manchester. <laughs> she didn't deserve it. She worked so hard. She worked helping people right her life. Look at her face. Come on, I'm coming in, you lot. What? I'll have to get the water for you. Just the water. Does anything surprise you about being in your 90s? Not really. I never really, I never really thought about it until I realise now that I am a bit slower, I do things a bit slower. It's difficult to prove, because I've been a lot of places in the world in that 90 years, and a lot of friendship. I used to worry a hell of a lot. What used to worry me is the tax man. I've got to pay him. Oh yeah, you're right in the shit. It's, you've got to find what bothers you in life a little bit. Try and come out of it a little bit. You've got all the life ahead of you. But we're all different. Remember that. We're all different. Done. I tell you, it's hard work keeping it going.